right. Let's talk about a co-favorite in the conference, a team that is favored to get to the Big 12 title game. That would be the Iowa State Cyclones. Matt Campbell, the darling. Everybody loves everybody loves old Matt. SP Plus got him going 11 and 1 this year. FBI's got him going 10 and 2. Uh, the win total is nine and a half. To go over is plus one ten. Plus one ten. I mean, that's bananas. Um, conference odds to win the conference plus two sixty. They are second there, so they are expected to get to the championship game. Uh, my question is: Was last year the ceiling? Right. This year, like quarterback Brock Purdy, all of his star tight ends return. Running back Brees Hall, like a Heisman contender. Uh, all five offensive linemen. All of their leading receivers are back. But while they do have a bunch of returning receivers, returning guys, whatever, are they talented enough to actually win the conference? Like, is this group talented enough? I do know on defense, they certainly are. Nine starters back on defense. No doubt. The the 2020 run defense gave up 3.2 yards per carry. I mean, they just shut it down. That defensive line is stout. They've got the second best linebacking unit in the country. They got NFL dudes at linebacker. Favorable road schedule, even with a trip to Norman. Uh, outside of the trip to Oklahoma, they play at Kansas State, at Baylor, at UNLV, at uh, West Virginia, at Texas Tech. Like it's not, it's not a murderer's row. There's obviously some some potholes there, but you know, like I I could see this team going ten and two. I'm going to go over for them over nine and a half because I think they can they can be better than everybody else, other than Oklahoma, and. That even includes a loss to Iowa that I've got on here. I I can't get to ten. Nine and a half is just a big, big number. Yes. And if they get to ten, I it, it won't be a bad thing. Yeah. But I just I can't I can't get there. So you are you are taking the got the minus one forty. Yeah. I just think ten's too big. Nine and a half is just too big. I can I can understand that. That's that was my whole question, right? Like, is this team even with all the returning talent, even with what we saw them do? I to think Oregon, they're great. Like all I that, they're great. And there's like you, but can, I think there is a ceiling. You there. can be the second best team in this conference at nine wins, also. Yes, yes, a hundred percent. Like, but that, that does not make you national championship quality. No. That does not make you playoff quality. And that's I I think the the lack of talent here. Even with all the development that you can do, you still can't get them to that upper echelon. Yep. 10 is, is going to be tough, but I think they can get there. I, I like the plus odds at going at 10 because I think that they can beat everybody else other than Oklahoma. And and if I give them one more loss in there, I, got, I think I'm good. So, yeah, but I just think they're going to have more coin flip games than that. I mean, I, I do think you're probably right. Like at West Virginia, probably I, coin I toss. think they got. I think they got five coin flip games. Oklahoma State, West Virginia, Texas, um, TCU, Iowa. I'm counting Iowa, Iowa. as a coin flip game. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, it's it's going to be interesting. Going to be interesting. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.